Welcome to the demonstration of NetSuite Bill Capture. NetSuite Bill Capture allows for vendor bills to be uploaded to the Bill Capture workspace via email or drag and drop functionality. Documents emailed to the Bill Capture workspace are reviewed for OCR processing. And once processed, success and failure messages will be sent informing the sender of the status. A full list of what messages will be sent can be found in Suite Answers. After vendor bills are scanned, they will be available here at the Scan Vendor Bill screen. Not only do we have access to all the vendor bills that were emailed to the Bill Capture workspace, but we can upload vendor bills using File Explorer or the drag and drop functionality. The drag and drop functionality allows users to upload multiple files at once, and the auto refresh feature provides immediate access to all uploaded bills. The review of our scanned vendor bill screen can be further refined to filter by date or status. The status column displays bills needing review or where the review has been finalized. Bills still under review can be deleted if needed, and those that have been reviewed can be hidden as dictated by your bill capture preferences. From here, we can start the process of reviewing scanned bills. At the review scan bill screen, we have the split screen view with the scan vendor bill on the left and all the fields populated with data from the scan bill on the right. All bills are scanned using Oracle AI technology and machine learning is used to extract the vendor bill details to populate the various fields. The outputs from the document will be compared and matched with your NetSuite records, such as items, vendor names, or purchase order transactions. Diving into the header details, we can analyze the populated fields and make any necessary modifications. Noting here that any modifications will become the basis for future suggestions. The subsidiary will be suggested and can be modified based upon your roles and permissions. If the subsidiary is modified, the remaining fields will be remapped if they are subsidiary dependent. The vendor suggested will be the closest match from the scan file. Payment terms can populate based upon what is scanned from the document or sourced from the vendor master record. This will be based upon your bill capture preferences. Department and class fields will map to purchase order transactions or remain blank for manual entry. From here, line items from the vendor bill will be classified as either items, expenses, or both as dictated by your bill capture preferences. Under the items tab, we can expand the line item to see what was scanned by the system. Here we can see the system has scanned the item quantity, units, rate, and amount. Above that is what we'll post at the line item level. The item scanned will match to your item records in NetSuite. And then the description will be sourced from the matched item record. The department, class, and location will pull from the header details but can be changed at the line item level as well. And then the purchase order number scanned from the document will match to any open purchase orders for that vendor and can be modified if needed. Items can be swapped to be an expense or vice versa. This swap will be remembered by the system and will be suggested the next time a bill is scanned for this vendor and item. On the Expenses tab, expenses can be populated as multiple lines or one line with or without taxes and shipping included. This along with how taxes and shipping costs will be classified can be set up in your bill capture preferences. The account number can be sourced from either the vendor master record or suggested based upon previous vendor bills posted over the last 90 days. If for any reason a line is scanned as an expense and an expense account is not suggested, the first time the user selects the expense account or category, that will be the suggestion the next time a document is scanned for that vendor and that item. If a scanned vendor bill is saved for later, any information modified related to the purchase order will be stored as a future suggestion. Only after the vendor bill is created is when all modifications become future suggestions as bill capture will assume that the modifications are correct because the vendor bill was created. Once the vendor bill record is created, bill capture functionality is complete and the core ERP functionality is utilized. The scanned vendor bill is attached to the vendor bill record under the communications tab. Any scripts or workflows triggered at bill creation will be triggered here, including duplicate detection of the reference number. 
Bill Capture will use the default vendor bill form for the user posting the vendor bill. And if custom segments or projects need to be added, the vendor bill record can be modified to include those fields. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.